Hi everyone, welcome to Sunny Day Stamping. I'm so glad that you're here. My name is Julie Baca and I've got a really quick and easy project for you today. We are gonna be making um, just a flat stationary. I, I love flat stationary, but I just wanna write a quick note. Um, I, I don't want a ton of room to write. <laughs> I just wanna say, hi, I love you, I'm thinking of you, and send that off into the mail. Um, we are gonna, I'm gonna show you four different designs for making this and some ways to really spice it up because it can be kind of plain like this. We're also going to wrap them up in a little bow and it's gonna be great if you wanna do like a gift pack. Now, we are gonna do, this is gonna be simple stamping stamps ink paper so this is perfect if you're a beginner and you don't have very many supplies but I am going to show you how to step it up a little bit if you've got uh, more supplies and an embossing machine all right let's get started So here's our super adorable little gift pack of note cards. I'm going to show you how to make four different designs, although if you like one design, you could make them all that design. Um, but I did want to give you some other options and we'll also, of course, decorate the envelopes. So you want to start by grabbing yourself a great stamp set. You want something that's really easy to use um, and also something that has a lot of different elements so that you can really have variety from one stamp set. I'm going to actually pair this one with the go-to greetings because I wanted these little tiny words. Um, you could also just dig through your other stamp sets and grab something that's going to work for you on that. These, these were just too big for what I wanted to do. I really love creating projects that just don't take a lot of stuff to make them because I want you to be able to reproduce these. So in this project, we're, you're going to need black for the greeting, green for some leaves, and then one color that is going to be your main color for your flowers. And then when you go to your paper, you, we're going to make five I'm sorry, we're gonna make four cards with just three pieces of paper. You need white to stamp on, some black to layer it, and then this will be the back of the card, and I'll show you how to make this a little more fancy. I'm gonna start by showing you how to cut this paper. It's not complicated, but if you're new to stamping, I just wanna give you some tips just so you can confidently cut your paper. All three pieces of paper that we're gonna cut right now, you're gonna put them in landscape orientation before you cut the first cut. And the measurements, oh, the measurements for this are over on my website. So there's a link in the description of this video that'll take you right to the blog post and it'll have all the measurements right there. Um, you can also purchase supplies right from there. My email subscribers will get this print and make project sheet, um, which is just kind of handy to have right uh, printed out while you're cutting. Anyway, so with your paper in the landscape orientation, you're gonna take that first number, the largest one, and that's what you're gonna cut first. So we're gonna cut this at five and a half. Then you're gonna rotate this and then cut the smaller measurement, four and a quarter. So that is gonna be your card base. So you're gonna need four of each. I cut my purple, I cut my black. Now let me show you how to cut the white. Same thing, you're gonna put it in landscape. You're gonna cut the largest number first. So this is five and a quarter. Then you're gonna rotate this and cut it at four and four. Now you're gonna do the same thing on this side. You're gonna put it in so it looks like this. It, now it looks like it's in uh, portrait mode. Um, and you're gonna trim this down to five and a quarter, rotate it. Did I do this wrong? Oh yeah, rotate it now at four and four so you get four pieces of this. So there, it was that simple and you've got four of each color so we can make four different cards. I just have a quick stamping tip for you. When If I am stamping with a stamp set where I'm gonna be taking my elements on and off uh, the blocks, I want my Simply Chamois really close by. So I just lay it right in my stamp set so once I ink something up, I can wipe it off and then put it right back on. So for this first design, I am just gonna stamp in the corner here. And then I'm gonna take these green leaves and I'm gonna line it up. There's this like kind of uh, indentation here and that point of that um, leaf goes right in there. And you can see I'm stamping off the paper. That just creates more interest. But now that's not enough green on there for me. So I'm gonna take my leaf and I'm gonna actually spin this around so that I just get a little tip coming up there. And I think I'll put some on this side. I'm going to take these two little leaves 
like that. Then I'm gonna put some up in this corner, just a little bit. So now I'm done with this. I'm gonna actually, on my scrap paper, wipe off the excess ink, wipe it on my Simply Chamois, and I'm gonna put it right back over the matching image and then I know that I've got that one and it's not missing. Now this flower, you can leave it like this or there are two different insides that you can pick. This one or this one. Let me show you what those look like. So here's the little spotted dots. And then here is the other option. So you can you have choices on what you want to do with that. I shouldn't have put that leaf away, but because before we do that, you want to stamp your envelope with these flowers before we move on to the next card. Now this one, I'm going to put the flower way down in the corner because I just want the tiniest bit peeking out. And I'm just using the same design as the card to go on my envelope. So I'm not having to create something else, you know, and then we'll put one here just to, just to save time and... There, that's all. It doesn't need to be super fancy to be awesome. So we're going to save these aside until um, we get our uh, the rest of the cards done. Except I forgot one more thing. I want to add a little greeting and I'm going to do it in black and I'm just going to do it right here at the bottom. In each note, we're going to put a different little greeting on there. Okay, for this next card, I'm going to grab these stems and then these flowers that go on top. We're going to put two of these in the corner and I want them going different directions so that it just looks more interesting. So I'm gonna do my stems first, and then I'm gonna line up my flower on top of there. And the way I do that is this top flower, I'm gonna line up with these two top, I'm, actually, I'm gonna do this one first so it's not confusing because these are the top two stems. And then there's a cluster of one, two, three flowers, and those are gonna go on these stems. So I line up this top one first, and then I kind of rotate them until those that cluster of three are in line and I so wow I did a good job on that so but even if you get it off with this stamp it's so forgiving that it just doesn't really it still looks awesome even if you kind of miss now this is called a distinctive stamp it's supposed to have lighter and darker areas just to give it more interest now we're going to add a greeting on this one we're going to put it right down here but we're not done yet this stamp set has a splatter stamp which is so awesome we're going to stamp it off and just stamp it right over those words very lightly just to give it a little extra oomph all right now before we take these stamps off we are going to stamp our envelope and i'm opening it up because i want these flowers to go all the way up so that they'll be on the envelope back for this design and just do the same that you did on your card. Another one done. All right, so now I'm grabbing this flower, which uses this insert only if you want to. So let me show you what it looks like without the insert. And I'm gonna start with, I wanna fit four flowers on this right side, and I want one stamped off the paper there. And I'm twisting it. This one I want a one full one, and then this one I want to come off the bottom there. So that's what it looks without the insides, and then let me show you what it looks like with it. Now even if you forgot to turn your flower, go ahead and turn the inside, um, because then it'll look like they're going different directions. Let's add a little thank you on this one. There we go, and do the envelope. We're gonna do the same thing on our envelope as we did on the card. Here's this one, we've got one more. All right, we have one more flower that we haven't used and that's this cute little one. And this one does have some light and dark sections on purpose that just makes it awesome without the work of trying to make it awesome. Oops, you can see I kind of messed up on there. I, You know, I'm gonna leave it because I wanna show you how to fix that. Now I have gotta say, I don't like that I put those all three in a line. So. You know what? There are two sides to every paper and I'm going to flip this over and we're going to try this again. So now I want to make sure I've got one not in a line. So we're going to put it way out there. Now we're good. And I want some on the edges. I, I'm reluctant to put another, another flower on here. So we'll just do that. Now we're going to bring in our splatter and we are gonna splatter this on, but we're gonna do full strength. Last time we stamped off like that. 
And now we've got this tiny, tiniest little hello, which I think is so adorable. This is in the go to greetings, and we're going to stamp that kind of like it's falling down here. I want to, I do want to do a couple off the paper like that. Now we'll do the same thing on the envelope. I know I did fail to mention what this thing is. This is the stamp and pierce mat. And if you um, have photopolymer stamps, those are the clear ones, and you're not really happy with the image that it's giving you, sometimes if you're doing it right directly on your hard, um, your hard table, it, it won't have the best impression. So this just has a little cush, a little give. So let me show you how we're going to put these together. You're going to layer this on your black and then layer this whole thing onto that colored piece of cardstock. And you can be done right here and it'll look awesome. But let me show you how to decorate this bottom part so that when somebody flips it over, it still looks cool. And what we're going to do now, this is if you are a, a, a new stamper and you just have ink, or if you just want to make a quick card, we're just going to stamp this around like this. And, but I do have another option if you have a stamp and cut and emboss machine of what to do on the back of this card. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this together just so you can see what it looks like. And then I'll show you the other way and you can tell me which one you like better. So there's this set and here is the back. Let me show you another option. So if you have a stamp and cut and emboss machine, you can grab these dry embossing folders um, to give it that awesome texture. But let me let me give you a couple tips on using these. They all well, they all come like this, and it has the Stampin' Up at the bottom. Turn that around um, so that the line is at the top, and it's especially important. Like on this one, this is the Countryside Blossoms. It definitely has a very symmetrical pattern. So I don't want my paper to be askew. I want to make sure it is really lined up. And so what you do is you line up the edge of your paper on the edge of that line and then you know it's straight. And then when you put it in your embossing machine, this open end, that needs to go away from the machine. You want the folded end to go in. Um, this is going to preserve the life of your embossing folders so that they don't crack. Check this out. Look at that amazing texture on there. Look at that gorgeous texture. And what, so what I wanted to create was when someone has the card, let me glue this together real quick. I wanted to, when they're reading their card, they're going to feel something on the back and flip it over to this gorgeous pattern. Or if they just are reading their card and they happen to flip it over, there's something back there that just is makes it look extra special and extra homemade. Now that was so fast and we created four different designs. Like I said, you could pick just your favorite and make just those. Um, but if you're going to give this as a gift, go ahead and stack them up and then we will tie them together with this ribbon. But I do have, if you have a stamp and cut in a boss machine, I want to show you one other little way to make it really special. So this is the tailor-made tag set and it is just a must-have. So versatile. And we're going to take one um, of these to make a little tag for our gift set. I'm choosing this one because I'm using a thicker ribbon and it'll fit through here. But if you were using thread, you could use um, more of this scalloped one. So when you're running things through your uh, cut and emboss machine, try to put them along the edges as much as possible instead of right in the center because then your cutting plate is going to last longer. There, I love the little stitched edging on those tags. So now we're just going to decorate this really quick just with our same colors of ink. I'm going to put um, a little flower in the bottom here put a flower over that hole and then I'm going to use my splatter to just add a little extra. I think we'll do a greeting just right on here. Okay, that's it. So now you're going to want to grab yourself, I don't know, a lot of ribbon. <laughs> uh, maybe like a yard of ribbon. Um, maybe 30 inches is plenty. And we're going to put it over the stack of cards. I've got them all stacked up. Turn it to the back and fold it in the back like that. 
and then turn it to the front. Oh no, I didn't cut enough ribbon. Don't you hate it? Do you think I should try? I'm so bad at ribbons that I don't think I can do it with just a little bit. I'm gonna try, this is not, this absolutely is not gonna work. Oh man. I guess you could do like that. That is definitely not as pretty as a bow. I'm starting over, but I just wanted to show you that you, you um, before you tie, you, you tie your bow, you're gonna thread your tag through there. Okay, so you definitely need a yard of ribbon. <laughs> I'm having a hard time. I want them to be able to get this off though. Hmm. Oh yeah, definitely tying a knot in the bottom makes it way easier to tie. Oh, I'm getting good. You know what? Maybe it's this this ribbon that makes it easier. Look how cute! Oh my gosh! Okay, let me show you the other colors. So this is the pack we just made in Highland Heather. And then Daffodil Delight. And then this one is Bubble Bath. And I'm just going to open this up just so you can get some other ideas. So I just want to show you real quick, just kind of the front and backs of these. Did I do these all embossed? Hold on a minute. <laughs> I did, I embossed all these. Oh well, okay. Well, this is what it looks like if they're all embossed, but you can also just stamp on the back. Remember, if you want the measurements or you want to purchase supplies for this project, there's a link in the description of this video that'll take you directly to the blog post so you can get all that information. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. You can also hit the subscribe button and click notifications so that you get notified the next time one of my videos comes out. Thank you so much for watching. Have a sunny day.